And now, let's look at the table of contents. Hmm. Nice to see a sound test. I do love me a sound test. Uh, we'll keep it on normal for now. Reminds me of the uh, Ghosts and Goblins font there in the color scheme. Let's look at the credits. Hmm. That's right. I'm, I'm the legend in the flush. Nathan Tolbert. BiteTheChili.com. Jordan Davis. Both of them great people. MT, a graphical legend in the homebrew community. Oh, giving shout outs to the tools is used too. GG Sound, cool. Tile, I, Tiled is a great program. I used to tile a lot for um, from uh, Choo Choo Mimic. A couple of testing people. I know Eugene Myers, very cool. Additional thanks. Will I be featured in, oh, I know here the dog cast. Game Beaters, cool. Memblers, of course. Dale Coop. Hey, there's me. John Riggs, John Hancock. Totally Radness, Ferris, of course, the Milwaukee record. Well, wow, a lot of lot of thanks. A scrolling in thanks section. Gotta love that. A shift from people who use Twitch to YouTube. Yeah, you know what? For the longest time, if I was to stream on YouTube, my whole I hate to algorithm comes up all the time in YouTube but it was true like if you streamed on Twitch or streamed on YouTube um, it could tank your next videos just by nature of how the uh, algorithm works so um, so that's so I start I mean I was I've been streaming on Twitch for a while there but recently I was like you know what they put live streaming in its own category now so now I'm just gonna focus on uh, I'll still stream on Twitch sometimes but try to do some more streaming on YouTube when I can. I hear that. Hello. The Magic Sword. Contained all the world's stories. Like the book. Two heroes rush to intercept it before it reaches its citadel. And so begins the struggle of the storied sword. All right. Meanwhile, at Vector's floating citadel... Floating Citadel. You mean like an air fortress? AKA my favorite NES game ever? It's not really my favorite game, but I love that game. I will use it to break the curse and remember the name of my one true love. Count those fingers. Got five of them. Okay. And that's not the six-fingered man. The candle has been lit. Vector sees the sword. It must be stopped. Oof. This is a homebrew. And hello, Victor Wilt. You've earned your funeral, Vector. Your reign will be brief and painful. Okay, oh, and uh, oh, now I get to choose. I could be Cedric or Orchid. A couple of cool names there. It was floating in the clouds. Uh, oh, not that. Hold on. Wrong one. Uh, this is the one I want to keep handy here. This is, you can pre-order the game. It's on Kickstarter right now. Just launched today. And that's uh, where you can get it right there. So you can grab a copy for yourself. Um, I will start with the dude, but maybe next time around I'll, I'll play as her too. Let me just start with one first. Chapter one, enter the old city gates. Can do. All right, here's me. There's my sword, there's my jump. Ooh, I can, that's a pretty, pretty high jump there. It's not even a double jump. Okay. Oop, let's not do that. How many of those? Okay, now I have eight. I can only do that so many times. <laughs> the old Nidhogg. <laughs> Chuck your sword at someone. <laughs> Alright, can I? Nope. Let's get that guy. Look at this dude. Bonk. Come on, Bolo. Oop. Ah, can I? You do have a triangle jump. Maybe I can come back to that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. In a game with a triangle jump. Ah! That, maybe that'll be a future uh, NES video. You know, best triangle jumps in video game history. Batman, number one. Strider, number zero. <laughs> the triangle jumping on, on uh, 
Strider for the NES was just about impossible. There we go. Got it. Oh, no, I have an axe. So I can grind someone's... an axe to grind with someone else. Boop, boop, boop. Triangle jumping is really nice in this game. Help. Sure. Oh, there it is. The wall jump. Press and hold that. No need to touch the D-pad. I touch the D-pad by nature of triangle jump. Try jumping... Try jumping the shaft. Uh oh Okay, I'm not going to hit the D-pad this time. I know. Still, though. I'm just so busy. I'm so used to hitting the direction the other direction. Woo. Oh, you see that? You see those skills? I saw that rock coming. I ducked just in time. You can't teach that. You can't teach that. Boop. But then when you move out of the way, as you can see, they come back. Eh. 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 Buff. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, I'm glad you're here. Loving this game so far. Again, this, uh... Oh, I got my sword back. Or something. Can I select it? Can I pause? I can pause. Fun to have an idle anime. I used to love video games with an uh, with the uh, idle animation. I used to love video games with the idle animation. Oof. Oh, I can also slash those rocks out of the way. That's good news. So this game again... Oh, I see. The, the sword thing I picked up, I think, gave me an extendo reach on my uh, slashy... My slashy slash. So this game... It's called The Story Sword. For NES, as you can tell. Um, it... I've seen it in production for the last couple of years. And it is now available on Kickstarter. I have a link to Kickstarter. In the description, I can post it post in the chat too. I'll post it periodically. And I don't know how long this. It's, I don't know if this is the demo or if this is just a review copy of the game. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but I know the guys who made it, and they uh, they they sent me a, a preview copy to uh, check out. And I was like, you know what? I'll stream it. That'll be the fun. Cool. I have fire now. I can throw. I can throw fire too. So, or I mean, I can throw an item. I'll use it on this guy. Is it, does it work like a? Guess we'll find out. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Whoa! Look at this guy. Little human torch here. There's a cool graphic on that guy too. All right, let's 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 try uh, avoiding not landing on people here. Yeah, it's, it's it's totally uh totally Wesley, right? From Princess Bride. That's what I thought too. But you can't just make a Princess Bride video game. I mean, the IP belongs to someone else. Come on. There we go. Boop. Well, maybe you could reach out. I wonder if you could reach out and do the uh, Princess Bride thing. I'm not sure. Boop, boop, boop. I cannot climb this, right? No, nope. okay. Just checking before. Too late. Alright, jump, jump. Okay. Oh, good. There are some games like Castle Quest, like, oh, Old Ninja Gaiden's one of them as well, like where you have to, like, jump up into it. So, like, you jump up and it changes scenes, and you don't grab out, so you jump back down and it changes scenes. <laughs> this one, you just get close enough, and it changes the scene for you. I do like that. Oh, I was going to say, whoa, wait a minute. Yikes. Oh, holy. Spikes. Insta kill. Let me get Cedric again. Okay, good. I lost my, um, lost my power ups and stuff. Lame. Still Cedric. For now. Lame. This looks like a place where a boss battle would happen. Not gonna happen yet, though. Oof. Okay. Anything, any flying enemy is never good news for me. 
like this guy. Toop. The quick swish of a sword. Whee. Boop. I cannot crouch further. I do like that crouching graphic, though. Oh, come on. Listen to these words before I feed the birds. I gave the store to the lighthouse keep. To get to him, though, you'll have to go through me. Come on. Hello, and thank you for joining. If you're just joining, I'm playing a game called The Storied Sword, a brand new NES game. And uh, again, I'll pop the uh, link every once in a while. There's the link if you want to pre-order your copy. Just started today. Um, has already been successfully funded, so that's good news. He's going to throw rocks. Uh-oh. Oh. Can't get too close. Oh. No. Uh -oh. Yee. -hee. Oh, come on. Wow, right in the face. Right in the face. That's right, it's Fezzik. How do I get this game? Back it on Kickstarter. This is a um it, it, they just launched the Kickstarter today. I've been I've been watching this game in development for the last couple of years. Um, Midwest Gaming Classic, they would have copies, you know, they would have like the work in progress. So it's finished. And uh, the Kickstarter link is above and in the, in the description. Oop. Oh jeez. That took off a ton of damage. Oop. Alright, we got him this time. And he blows up, because that's what happens. Alright, into the arbor front. See, the first battle should have been with a, an Inigo Montoya type character. Then him. Then the Battle of Wits. Well. It's alright. Oh, jeez. Didn't even see that guy for a second. Good lord. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Oh, here's this fire breathing guy. I love this graphic of this, of this fire breathing dude or whatever. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have the uh, ability to throw things too. Like that. Well, that didn't mean it good. Like this. There we go. Oh, look, I got more. I'll take it. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. There we go. Wait. Dude. gotta stop landing on things oh what a great graphic what a great thing to have the uh the flags waving good idea good idea guys <sighs> that's right hello pixel game squad yeah you know what's funny um yeah and the the rigs from uh, yeah, danny glover saying rigs um i used to get that like on the playground like at school like, and, you know, my, my, my first name's John, so it's, like, you know, the, the most common name in the world. You know, the most common name in the U.S., for sure, especially in the 80s and 90s. So everyone called me, it didn't, didn't make a difference, everyone called me Riggs anyway. And they'd be like, Riggs! Or they'd call me John Riggs. Always going by a first and last name basis. And, um, but they, they, they would do that on the playground. I'd be like, Riggs! And I didn't get it. I didn't watch, I didn't watch any, um, uh, what's it called? Um, I didn't even watch Lethal Weapon until the third one came out. And then I was like, oh, that's why they always said my name like that. Okay. Like, I didn't know. I just went for it. Boop. Now we're getting somewhere. There may be something awesome over here. I'm, I don't want to backtrack this much. Oh, no. I fell all the way down. Ah. Now that happens. 
That happens. You drew those flags. Oh, well, good, I good idea, Jordan. All right. I've been playing as Cedric so far. This is my first time as Orchid. Let's check out Orchid. Looks like a... Got Scarlet Witch over here. I'm down for that. Oh, she has a kind of a, a down slash. All right. Well, except for when you do that. Maybe the other one did too. I just wasn't paying attention. All right. I don't trust that. I have a bow and arrow apparently. Oof. Come on. Boop, boop. 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 Come on, man bun. Boop. Boop. It's a good thing I don't do sound design for video games. I'll just be every character just going boop, boop, boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Do I even try? You know what? Yes, I do. I was like, do I try for that whatever's over here? Better be awesome. It's going to be like a free guy or something. I don't know. We'll see. And my intention isn't to play the game all the way through. But to let you know that this game exists. Ah! Closer. There we go. Ah, uh, here's where I got, oh, uh, same thing happened last time. Sorry, I died last time. Lame. Uh, you know what? Whatever's over there, it's not worth it. That's what I say. Yes, it is. I gotta get it. It's gonna be something awesome. Nope, never mind. Got a rock right in the pelvic region there. I'll play as Orchid again. Why not? I don't think there's much of a difference one way or another. You know, it's funny. I, it's probably this. I'm probably going back the same way. It doesn't matter. I can take the bottom road or the high road. All right. One of these times I'll get it. There we go. You see that timing? It's timing you can't teach. Nor can you uh, land on spikes. Never mind, I'm just gonna keep going to the end of the stage. Oh, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate you. Well, that didn't do any good. Okay, so he does slash. And then the woman slash uh, orchid slashes uh, downward. <sighs> but a little bit of this anyway. There's that. If you like what you see, pre order it right now. Coming so soon been fun watching this uh, game I, I remember i first i think the first time i played this game it was like a, a level or half a level or something like that at midwest gaming classic like two years ago and then it was uh looking pretty good last year but just in time for this year i'm gonna play it this year can i stand on the moon nope can't stand on the moon all right new level new area all right I think I go this way. The good news is I can just keep doing this until... There. But I don't want to go too far out of the way. Because... Um, they'll respawn. And blessed be the people who respawn. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way instead. Oh, let's go up instead. Battletoad style. Okay. Go. That wall jump. Oh, I'll grab that. Why not? Moon. I'm so much of a look at the moon. Oh, let's, let's stand right on the spikes and see what happens. How about that? <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Modern indie development. That's right. Yeah, they're all, it's all video games. I had somebody at the, um, I was at the Washington State Summer Con, no, Washington State Gaming Expo last weekend in Puyallup. And, um, there was somebody who was, like, trying to be considerate, which I appreciate. And he's like, I, you know, I don't know, you know, like, like, modern indie games or homebrews. It's like, man, call them whatever you want, as long as you're supporting them. Yeah. I don't mind homebrew, I don't mind, you know, just, it's all video games at the end of the day, so. Don't matter to me. I was thinking about that, where it's like, you know, you look at, look at my Switch, look at my Switch collection, you know. More than half the games are uh, these kind of $5, $10 indie downloads anyway. No. Come on. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, I'm down here. I am not the I, I'm not I'm not the rat. Come on. Gotta time my jumps better than that. Here we go. Gamer tag VR. You're the best, man. A box of cereal fun. You know, hey, trust me. Uh, I got it right here. You don't think I do? Hold on here. Can I do this? Oof. <clears throat> I have half a bowl of shreddies left from my trip to the UK recently when I was at Nottingham. I, I grabbed I grabbed some cereal boxes on the way home, and I have half a box of this left. Barely enough for anything. <clears throat> However, it'll give me a reason to come back. Give me a reason to come back. Hey, Koopa Kid. That's right. Yeah, I've, I mean, everybody has ideas for games. They do. And I 100% thought of an idea for, like, an action game like this, like a Ninja game, like a Ninja Gaiden, or a, you know, like a game like this, even. Where my attack was is the Ric Flair chop, where I just, it's like, like, the only move I can do is I can just chop fools, and that's it. <laughs> You know what, that, that guy's um, Picardi 151 breath might be my ticket to saving myself so I don't land on the spike. If the spikes are a one-hit kill. I was like, if I get hit first and then land on the spikes, I have like, you know, three seconds to move out of the way. Ooh. See that? See that? Oh, I remember when I had... I, I, there was a, um, a memory that came up from two years ago today when I was at my the, the movie I'm in. I was at the movie premiere. Yeah, and two years ago, I had my long hair. It was one of the last days I had long hair um, before I cut it all off. And I don't miss it. People are like, oh, don't you miss your hair? It's like, I think I miss my long hair until I see pictures of me with long hair, and then I don't miss it at all. <laughs> and that's how that works. Let's try this again. Oh, let's not be so close. Because my hair doesn't grow like it used to anyway. I, I understand that completely. Like, high school, no problem. Oh, terrible place for a heart. Oh, come on. Is it going to be one of these things where I need to go? It's not. Ooh. <sighs> Rough one. Dude, how long is this level? And then on top? Nope. Alright, it's gonna, gonna be a little easy on me here. I'm playing this on normal difficulty. There are three modes of difficulty. And thank you, Jordan, for the shout-out. I don't know if you, you're the one who programmed it specifically, but I saw it, I saw the... Uh, we did the end thanks at the beginning. So I saw my name on there. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Okay. You chase the sword like fools. I gave it to Stardine, the brigand queen wish to pursue her you must be in a duel okay so here's your is this is this your Inigo Montoya type character I guess we'll find out I love the artwork um I, yeah that's just I mean these are these are NES quality graphics I did see the virtual boy um I uh, uh yeah the virtual boy homebrew games like the um that Street Fighter 2 virtual boy game it's insane it's amazing it's amazing amazing well, you can stop by and say sup whatever you want. Do 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 do. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, what in the? All right, I'm. That's a bad idea. I gotta wait till he jumps and then go underneath him. Oh, I can do these too. Oh no, I can't. Let's try this again. This time with Orchid. Oh, bad news. Bad news. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> try it again. I think I have infinite lives. Might just be better off just staying clear. Oh, geez, I can't even do that. Uh, best action RPG on NES, um, Crystallis, if that's what you mean. See, I came from a time where I'm still, like, for me, RPGs were turn-based, 
And then it like games like Zelda were adventure. And then other games were action, like Batman and Ninja Gaiden. But if it's like a slashing thing, but you can build upgrades and whatever, um, Crystallis for sure is my is my pick for best action RPG. If that counts. Can I just spam them? Maybe I can spam them. Oh shoot! Oh no! I want to hit. All I had to do was slash my sword. I am still on the radio. I was on the radio this morning or this afternoon. I'm on, I'm on uh, weekdays. Come on. Nope. Too too close. Willow's way up there. I do love Issa Willow. All right, I need a new strategy. <sighs> the smushed Game Boy game. That's right. I got I got some more open card surgery videos I still need to do. I usually record them on the weekend, but I haven't had a weekend off in probably three months. I'm either traveling to a convention or I'm out of town, um, that, which is which is the honest answer. I'm either I've done a lot of conventions these past little bits, um, or I'm in uh, Spokane, which is a three-hour drive from where I live, so I have family there too. Yeah, do do more of that more do more jumpy jumps. Yay. Come on. Jump over him, he get yeah. Well, I tr trying. No, actually, this might work. I just gotta make sure I jump over him and not have him have him not stall. Duh. Because once he walks. All right. I thought he was gonna turn turn back around. But don't spam them. Take your time. There we go. <laughs> Chuck a bunch of daggers at him. That'll do it. Yeah. Hey, Super Dab. Good to see you again, dude. Super Dab. Super Dab does whatever he didn't have. What? That's weird. I'm telling you, Floating Citadel, Air Fortress... I love me some Air Fortress. All right. What up, Vector? I said Sardine. <laughs> Sardine. Is that how you pronounce that? Instruct Sardine to bring the sword to the caves beyond the graveyard. The dark oh, magic. Oh, it did. In the depths of the... We... Reawaken? The true power of the sword. Wait. Did you the sword... No, it's fine. Um, the story sword now delivered from the lighthouse keeper to Sadine, the brigand queen, inbound for the ancient caves. Uh, yes, the oh, the savage creatures inside the caves have been sealed within for centuries. The vector succeeds in awakening the power of the sword. Will break the seal, releasing the caves creatures to attack the villagers. Oh, oh villages. Like, I know how to read. I'm only in radio for 23 years. To keep the villagers safe, our hero descends into the darkness. They've taken the sword in the caves. If you're not in full cosplay, uh, Jordan, I'll be, uh, I'll be the disappoint. All right. <sighs> Pook. She left. I had a giant headache earlier, so I'm usually I, mean, I try to I try to avoid drinking soda nowadays, but um, for some reason Coke helps me get rid of my headache. So I'm drinking a big ass Coke from Taco Time. <clears throat> I am in the Yakima area. Uh, know anyone looking for a very easy once a week microphone job? <laughs> 
the national trivia company I work for is looking for someone in Yakima. Funny. Um, I'm... I'm I I mean I'm a, I'm a radio DJ. I'm around microphones all day long. So depending on what you need, I'm surprised they haven't asked the radio stations yet. But let me know. Refrigerator artwork gave you at the GameCon in Pialop. Oh, very cool. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still little. I haven't even unpacked my suitcase yet. <laughs> That's how much work I've done. I get, as soon as I got home, then I went straight to work. Um, I'll have to I'll have to uh, open that up here. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, here's chapter three. Chapter three. Help? Yes. Things get a lot more difficult from here on out. What? It was pretty hard to begin with. If things get too frustrating, feel free to try the easier mode instead. Oh, you can find it in the main menu. That means I have to reset it. What happened? Oh, I said that means I might have to reset it. The game. You asked what I said, so I repeated what I said. Oh. <laughs> well, you're the one talking out loud. I'm just going to answer all my questions with, I'm in the kitchen. Buff. Super Dab's in the chat, though. Super Dab is in the chat. Oh, no, like the My buddy Ron. Yeah, yeah. She said, hey. And she also gave a couple snaps at it. Well, I don't know if you saw that or not. I did not. But she was... freaking liar. She was... You can't even see me back here. I can barely even hear you back there. <laughs> Never mind. Alrighty. Alright. This, 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 the, the, the difficulty did amp up a bit. Ah! But to go back, it involves going back. I know. No, back to the beginning of the game. Third Street Market's the best. There we go. I do like the soundtrack to this game. Props to whoever did the soundtrack. It gives me the um. There was a, there was a certain there was a certain sound that NES games had like. 93, 94. Like some games did. Like they're trying to emulate kind of like Amiga style. Well, let's not go down there. But I did see something down there. Interesting. Keep thinking I could stand on that. Like this random noose right in the... Oh, where'd this guy come from? <laughs> I was just going over there to show you the noose. Oh, and there's a, a, a skull attached to that news. Ah! Not good. Oh, I see it down there. I'm not going to risk it. How about that? Yes, I am. Can I select it? Oh, it's, it gives me the, the longer reach. I might actually need that. Ah! I know the game's done, but man, if this game had a downward thrust, any game is that's 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 my motto. Any game is an A plus if it has a downward thrust. Oh, come on! You shouldn't be able to shoot through that. If I can't attack him, you shouldn't be able to attack me. That's the way I look at it. I'm already almost dead. Maybe I should have started on easy. <laughs> Come on, Bacardi. Ah. I knew you wrote the music to this game. I was just saying. Ah. Vanguard, the wrestling-themed sausage restaurant. Oh, my God. A wrestling-themed sausage restaurant. How can I not? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to uh, grab food sometime this weekend. My goal this weekend. This is Midwest Gaming Classic, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'll be there uh, this Friday through Sunday, so I'll be I'll be there uh, all three days. Um, the last few times I've gone, I've eaten at the exact same places because they're comfortable. I know where they are. Good enough for me. This year, I want to eat with the exception of the restaurant, like the hotel restaurant. Um, I want to eat at different places that I've never been to. And a place that is a sausage 
a wrestling themed sausage restaurant. Sounds right up my alley. So like a Hulk Hogan hero world thing? Fuck off. I don't know. I'm tired, okay? And I've got a headache. I can't be funny right now. Hulk Hogie, I think is what you're Hulk thinking. Hulk <laughs> It's a Hulk, yes. I'll, okay, I'll... well, we came up with that together, right? No. I no, you know. did, because I, I, I wouldn't have said that if you didn't. A Hulk hoagie? Is that on the menu? Well, they said sausage, so think of, like, Okay, um... sure. I'm trying to think. Oh, my gosh. Like, hold on. Brutus the Barber beef. All beef. Something. Hold on. The Ivan Putski is wait, like wait, Polish. Wait, isn't there like Ivan Putski is Polish power, so it could be like the Polish. What's sausage. the name of that uh, that one? Paul Hagen? No. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Yeah. Let's see. Well, don't think of a name first. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta think of the different. Well, I was trying to think of a Frank at first. Oh sure. Do I know Frank? any? Do I know any uh, wrestlers named Frank? Frank? There should be. You figure. By nature of like WCW in their early gimmick days, there would be a Frank in Stein or something, but there's not. Let's see. Yes. And of course, <laughs> the John Cena yeah. hot dog that you can't see. You can't see, right? <laughs> that was stupid. I am so tired and my head hurts. I mean, I just took the strong stuff. No oh, good. Which is why I'm probably weirder than normal. Hmm. Let's see. Ken. I don't know. Something schnitzel. Let's see. I know. That's why I keep trying to think of schnitzel and like I'm trying to think sauerkraut and like. <sighs> this game had a downward thrust. What's up with all these wrestlers not having good punny names anymore? I know. <laughs> like, Gone are the days of Hugh Morris and yeah, Coco Beware. And... There was one wrestler. I mean, was he sick? No, I think it was in the eighties. There's there's one wrestler in the eighties whose name was Willie B Hurt. <laughs> So really? his, name was, his name was his name was Willie B. Willie, Willie B. Hurt, Hurt. and I think he that's was a jobber. Great. But I was like, "Come on, shut up!" That's great. Willie B. Hurt. It's like that's a wrestling name. Yeah, I mean, you have that's, to. That's like, a that, that, that's the name of a worker right there. You have to come up with like. All right, puns. anyone in the chat? We need all the we need all the wrestling puns. Yeah. Oh, it's MT. We were just talking about MT uh, earlier. Um, let's see. You you missed. You'll have to rewind it, but you missed my um. What did I call you? A paragon of virtue? It wasn't that. It was a. Uh, um, I don't even remember what I said about you. A wanker. I did not no. say that. <laughs> it was something because he was. We did the. We looked at the, the thank you section, and I was like, um, uh, a legend. I think a legend in the uh, NES homebrew community for yes, years. Of Sorry, I was. Joking. When no one else was, he he. When no one else would, he was. Wait, what? Wait, what? No. When no when no one else he would he did. There you go. Is yeah. that better? When he, when he, uh, for, as far as graphics and stuff go for. Ah, lame. Boy, I'm still stuck in this limb. I might actually go have to go back and go back to the easy mode because I am sucking. I can't even get to like the second frame. That's not really surprising. Really? Hmm? It's because these people can shoot through walls. That's Fortnite for you. Oh wait. I'm not playing Fortnite. <laughs> that was a joke. They've I, actually I, I, been cheating more on Fortnite recently. I have nothing against they're... Fortnite. I, you know what? Fortnite makes a million dollars a day on Reason. For I love I love Fortnite. Fortnite's a great game. It's fun. Ah, there we go. Okay. Sl slam, slam, bam, bam, bam. Phony sausage, Johnny. <laughs> the, the, the the junkyard hot dog. Instead of the junkyard dog. I get it. Okay. That's good. The nacho man. There you go. The nacho man, Randy. <laughs> there we go. MT is mentioned at least three times in the credits. Oh God, that's great. Under three different names, but that's fine. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting to find my name in the credits. I was just like, I didn't do anything with this game. <laughs> Nacho Man Randy I, Savage. <laughs> I think I literally looked over someone's shoulder two years ago when I saw this oh. game at Midwest Gaming Classic, and then last year I probably played it for like 0. .3 seconds, and I was like, okay, good enough. I'll wait for the, I'll wait for the full I'll wait till the full versions out. I know it's funny because you go to these conventions and you're like you want people to play your game, and I'm just like, I just want to play the final version of the game. I just you know. <laughs> 
It gives them a chance to yeah. do bug stuff. No, it does. And then just to see, I mean, that was fun for me going to Nottingham, seeing how people play Choo Choo Mimic, where it's like, to me, the answer is obviously, obvious. It's, it's, it's obvious. It's like, how would, how would it not be any other solution than this? And then watching people get frustrated for like 15 minutes, I was like, how do I put the, I was like, how do you not see literally how, what to how do? How do you not read my mind? Exactly. So kind of an eye opener thing for me too, but. I wonder then if it's a good idea to have more than one solution. Well, for Choo Choo Mimic, there is. Um, oh, okay. Most most levels. I mean, you, you can beat the game any way you want. Sure. But there are multiple uh, solutions for levels. And you don't have to pick up all the coins, too. If you just want to go straight through the levels and not pick up coins, go for it. Mm -hmm. But you get you get the special ending if you can go through and get all the coins. Mm. Or even go through and get most of the coins. That's. I don't know why I'm like... Even... That's a different game. Don't talk about Choo Choo Mimic. We don't talk. We'll talk about Choo Choo Mimic when that Kickstarter is available, which will be later I apologize. this month. I ah! didn't realize that wasn't allowed. I'm sorry. You can talk about whatever you want. You look. Actually, you were the one that brought it up. I know. Right now, I'm talking about. Sorry. This game right here. You want to back it? There's the link right there in the chat. Pre-order your copy of the Storied Sword, featuring featuring such things like death. M T with three credits. And Me. More death. The you will be you'll. Play this game far better than me the first time you ever play this game. Full life. I finally got full life. And full death. Oh, a full death? That's coming soon. That's as soon as I find some more spikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad that I saw that up there. Uh, they had um, an Andre the Giant type character uh, earlier. Like the first boss was like Fezzik. Oh. I know this game's not Princess Bride, but it's like, to me, that was the draw. I was like, ooh. I almost didn't even notice those spikes there. I just went for the wall jump. <laughs> ah! Those guys. Why well, gotta shoot at an angle? They didn't even know you could shoot at an angle with a nest maker. Get over here. I'm guessing this is nest maker anyway. Ah! But it's not all the way nest maker, is it? Because you're also using programs like Tiled and stuff to. I guess you could do a little bit of everything. Yay! I believe if I die now, I'll start right here. Congerts. I'll take all the congerts I can. Can you? Justin, I love me some Justin Credible. Is there a female wrestler named Sue Plex? You know, <laughs> there really should Ow. be. That came out my nose. You got you got a diet coke out of my wife's nose there, so congratulations. Oh my god, how's that burn? Like, yeah, you won't okay. you, you won't use the Navage with the uh, with the eucalyptus. Well, I didn't mean to do this one, John. Well, well, not to be mad at me. Be mad at a. Uh, Oh, God. Uh, Truman Talks Treasure. Yeah, well, Su Suplex. Oh, God. Well, you did have to say it. Enjoying a peanut candy and bread with honey covered in chocolate. Wait, a peanut candy... A peanut candy, candy and, bread, and bread. And bread with honey covered in chocolate. So, chocolate covered honey bread? Is that a Butterfinger? Butterfinger sandwich? Is that what you're eating? <laughs> I mean, um, my, my kids used to eat Skittles by putting them in a bowl full of milk, so I guess anything's possible. Smarty cereal. They don't make Smarties. I didn't know they made it. <laughs> they no. don't. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not of the jagged rocks. Did he die? Yeah, they count as spikes. All right, I'm going back to Orchid. It's Orchid. You're going, going back, back. To, to Orchid. 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 I'm gonna work on trying to get my headache to be completely gone. All right. Just yeah, I had a headache today too, for no reason. Mm. Oh, smell this. See, every time you say that. It's always good ones. What is it supposed to be? Is that like one of your Loki ones or whatever? No. Like it smells like. It's orange. It's blood orange. Blood orange. Mm-hmm. Right. Blood orange, leather, and cedar. Okay, you didn't mention the leather and cedar. You just said blood orange. Well, because the main the main scent is blood orange. I see. It's called blood orange. Yeah, but it's also has. Shea and blue. Yeah, but what what was the inspiration for blood orange and leather and cedar? Is that like like woodland elf or something or no? Supernatural. No. <sighs> the same thing as last time. It's just a good scent. Okay. Broccoli Lesnar, quite. Undertaker Johnson. 
Brock, <laughs> Broccoli Lesnar, okay. Oh, hold on. Yes? What? Alright, tea's ready. <laughs> Shut up! Bro Broccoli <laughs> Hey, trust me, I think it's funny too. <laughs> <laughs> Suplex City just visited the Veggie Tales. Oh frick! Brock I have like, <laughs> like now, if I ever see him in person, I'll just be like, "Hey, Blame. broccoli." Broccoli Lesnar. Imagine if um, oh, imagine God. if Brock Lesnar had that ridiculous haircut that like teenage boys have now. <laughs> the broccoli look, yeah. Broccoli. Broccoli Lesnar. Someone needs to make a meme of that like two seconds ago. Oh, that was funny. That is pretty good. That's a good pun. I'll take that. I'll mm. use that for something later. In the Broccoli Lesnar. Ah, lame. <laughs> Gosh, darn it. It's the best. It really is. Okay. That did not help my headache by laughing. No. Yeah, my headaches. For me, it's like I feel more. I feel where my headache was. I'm, I'm at that level where it's like I had it. I had a headache. Is it where I hit you with the cast iron skillet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, wait. You don't remember. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Where's yours? Because, like, mine's, like, right here. Like, where my third eye was. Uh, mine's more, uh, uh, uh back in the back neck. Back in the neck. Yeah. Oh, that's, like, the worst. Yeah, it's not so bad. I just have to... It's probably just my posture today or something at work. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna try and get rid of my headache. Oh, I see. Lame! No, actually, that's good. I just got this. Oh, good. I got the fire. Yeah. I did it. I totally started the fire when I hit up and beat. Oh, God. Just engulfed that, dude. All right. Again, I'm not going to fall into a boss battle. The boss battle happens when you leave the screen. Full life. Oh, it is full life. I was just kidding. But I'll take it. Great level design on this one, too, dudes. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! No! Oh, God, no. Oh, all it takes is those spikes. Too many spikes. Spikes just need to do damage. Is that what easy... Does easy mode make it so spikes do damage, not an instant kill? If that's all it was, then that's good news for me. But Mega Man has instant kill on spikes, too, so I should be able to rock this and hit the right button. I'm so glad I got hit that time before something else. Ah... <sighs> The underbaker. Yep. That's the key to a proper cookie. Underbaker cookies. And then let them uh, sit. So they kind of solidify that way. It's funny. I like I like making cookies, but I only make them like during the holidays. For no reason. Did I die already? Yeah, I'm going back to Orchid. Jake the Cake Roberts. Well, well. Yeah. I will visit said wrestling uh, wrestling themed sausage restaurant and report back eventually lame well the good news is you have infinite lives be better than me that's for sure uh, come on Trying to think of different types of sausages. That's what I'm. That's my hang up. Come on. No. Nope. You know what? I don't think I need those. I like the different, uh, I like how the, I'm actually going to pause the game just so I can look at the graphics up close of the, uh, the stalactites. Stalagmites? Stalactites? Stalactites. Uh, stalag... Tights are the ones that are on the ceiling, right? And then mites are on the floor. It's been a while. <laughs> I never have to say, it's usually one of those words I never have to say out loud. Never, never comes up in random conversations, I guess. Uh, do I continue to play? 
I do! Come on. Grow with might. Oh, Big John Spuds. That's a good one. Should we do it a little bit better this time around? I say right when I land on the spikes. I should have kept my trap shot. Ugh. Which one's level select? Like this? Nope. Okay. When we were, um, when Alistair and I were uh, in the early stages of Choo Choo Mimic for a while, we had a, um, a, a button combination to get past the level and another, another button combination to give us like the stage select so we could just go straight to certain stages we were working on. And I was like, not really a fear, fear of mine, but I was like, oh, what if I, what if we left it in and I forgot to turn it off? I have to at least beat this level. Ducking out for lunch. Good luck with the, hey, take care, dude. Thanks for, uh, thanks, thanks for swinging in. Thanks for swanging in. Oh, yeah, I was talking to, uh, I'm sure you talked to him more than I do, but I was talking to Chris Lincoln the other day. Um, looks like Pyronauts is kind of back on the shelf for soon to be's. He's finish, finishing up Pyronauts stuff, so I'm, We'll see how that goes. Anyway, take care, dude. Thanks for swinging. Swanging. Wow. If I could go back to the main menu and have it not... Like... I'm going to go back to the main menu. That's fine. Can I continue the game on easy? I'm playing this on a mister, by the way. Uh -huh. Oi. Oi. <clears throat> Alright, take care, Truman. Yeah. That's funny. Alright, start over. There we go. Alright. Table of Contents, a.k.a. Options. Easier. Hold on. Let me look at the credits just for a second, just so I can reset my face. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, I've had a headache for like half the day. And it's pretty much gone, but I still feel where it was. So we got uh, Nathan Tolbert. Nathan Tolbert's done some great games in the past, too. Jordan Davis. Let's see, Graphic Advisor, MT. Guest Artists, MT. <laughs> Yep, Shiru, another legend. Messin, Tiled. Tiled's great. Yeah. Shout out to Rygar for testing this, taking the time out of his busy day of throwing giant, like, spiked shields. Retro Gamer Magazine. Hero of the Dogcast is wonderful. Game Beaters are great. Memblers, of course. NES Lives. Yep, Infinite NES Lives. I used their boards for years. Milwaukee Record. A homebrew draws near. The good Sean Robinson. <laughs> I missed that the first time around. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you like this. The, the Star Tropical Air Freshener. That's right. I love that one. <laughs> yeah. If you want to pre-order it, I got your link right here. This is the game. It's available on Kickstarter. The game is finished. I mean, um, you know, it's it's out. It's finished. But it's just a, 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 a guaranteed way to grab your copy. See, mine says press copy. So, um, all right. I have it set for easier mode, I think. Oh, I'm going to have to actually go all the way back just to double check. Because watch me get back there. It's like, hey, just in case. Oh, see, so it's a good thing. Well, no, it's, I would have done that anyway. Okay. Easier mode. Double check. Still on easier mode, okay. All right, shouldn't take me that bad. Ah, yeah, easier, easier than what? <laughs> All right, here we go. 
more than anything, just because you know, I just want to play a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through the whole game. You know, that wouldn't be very fun for you. And then, super easy would be like. You know, like no enemies or something. I like that jumping animation that he does, like for the the triangle jump. Or the wall jump, they call it in this. Goat! Dude rocking an old-fashioned sling. Beedee, 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 beep. Jump between a scene transition? Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. You know what? I do not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't play games for points. Unless it's like old school arcade games, maybe. And I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill some dude. If they want to run past me, I'm cool with it. Uh. The fact that there's multiple difficulties is still a cool thing you can do too. Oh, I got the fire. Fire. Boop. Boop. I'm all out of my throwing stuff anyway. Okay. Got a duck to kill those guys, apparently. Boop. Lame. Okay. Go that away. I'll go this away. Old school cool. I'll take it. Mm. Yep. Oh, hey, game leaders. Yeah, this is my, my first time playing it for longer than a few moments. I saw it at a Midwest Gaming Classic last couple years. And I was just like, I'm so much of a... Like, I'll play it when it comes out. You know, if I played it for like a couple seconds. But, you know, I was just like, okay, cool. I'm good. I'll, just, I'll wait for the final version. Boop. Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. 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 Alright, is this Fezzik? Not really Fezzik, but you know. Yep. Boop. Oh, God. Feel stiff on there. Well, new. Yes. There we go. Very few NES games had difficult settings. Yeah, a couple of them. Uh, DuckTales was one. Yeah, DuckTales, Mega Man 2. It'd be funny if Ghosts and Goblins, that was the easy setting. And you're like, what, wait, what? Oh, yay, the flying flags. Woohoo. Come on now. Dude. It's funny, I usually duck to attack anyway in most games, just out of habit. And then, those things, you have to duck to attack, and I keep forgetting to do that with those guys. Alright, we've made it aboard, or made it a, a, a shore, something. Okay, this was a level I kept dying on for so Oh yeah, that's right, I kept on I kept backtracking. I was like, I don't need to backtrack. The backtrack is where I should have been going in the first place. Boop. I ain't gonna mess with those guys. These guys I don't mind. Ha. 
it. The moon. Cannot jump on the moon, by the way. Ah. Um, the, I, I've noticed... Um, Oh, Princess Bride? Yeah, we've talked about it a bunch earlier. This is... <laughs> it's literally the the headline of my uh, video here. It's like, Batman and Ninja Gaiden. Princess Bride? I mean, that was one of the first things I thought of when I saw it, the, the dude. It's like, oh, it's the Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> it's Wesley. As you wish. Ah, respawning enemies. Um, less difficulty and more... To answer the question about um, have I noticed a change in the difficulty, I've it feels about the same, but I definitely have more uh, health. Like, hit points, you know, where an enemy might take away three, or like, they're only taking away one now, or whatever. So that's huge. And I haven't tried hitting the spikes on purpose yet to see if it's still an instant kill or or what. Because spikes are always an instant kill in the Mega Man games, so maybe not? I was flashing then, so I didn't... You know, that, was, that didn't count. I will not try to hit the spikes, but if I do, then we'll know. Oop. Ooh. There is a bit of a falling thing that happens in this game. That's once you start falling. Run right there. There last time there was a flying bird. Cause that's I kept on hanging me up from actually going through with it. All right. I don't know if those typically take damage. Oh, I, I lost a ton of damage on that. So maybe. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh. All right. Inigo Montoya time. <sighs> okay. We were the, the technique, thanks to somebody in the chat last time. I didn't think I could jump over him like that, so... Because every time I tried, I would take damage. But I can jump over him and then slash him in the back. Nope, not like that. After he stabs, he st he hangs idle for a moment. Great animatic on the uh, lighthouse, too. We'll give a shout-out to that, too. Lame. Yeah, <laughs> inconceivable. I do not think you know what that word means. I do not think you think what it means. I was just watching The Princess Bride probably, I don't know, maybe a week ago. No, it wasn't a week ago. It was like a week and a half ago. We watched Princess Bride and then we watched Willow. Off and on. Not to be. I don't, I don't watch a whole lot of new movies, but movies I've already seen, I'll just put on the background just to have like a familiar sound. I've seen them enough times I can just listen to them and I can I can just picture it in my head, you know. Well, I do love me some Sega. X arcade box, huh? There you go. And yeah, there's a lot of those arcade boxes around. Yeah, it's funny. I watch most of my new movies when I travel, like on flights. I was like, oh, this is a new movie. I'll just, you know, if I got time to kill, I'll just watch this. All right. Back to this stage. I made it halfway through, at least, or to the, to the first checkpoint. So let's see if I can make it at least that far again, and then... That's going to be the, the sword extension, so now my sword slashes farther. Oh. Yeah, the easier level, I think I do have. I, you know, 
more opportunity to get hit. Which is exactly what I need. <laughs> Any way for me to suck less. That's that's what I need. Oh, well, see I gotta I could have waited my turn. Ah, come on. Fortunately you can attack some projectiles out of the air. And that's fantastic. Oh, come on. I was like, hoping to jump over that. All right, somewhere around. I think it's up there. There it is. I think this is full health. Kill. All right, got my full health back. Oof. All right. Do we live now for nostalgia? Always. I don't, you know what? I don't know. That's that's actually a good question. Do I live for nostalgia? I reminisce often. But I can't just be stuck in the past. I mean, because, you know, I like modern, you know, I like I like the modern conveniences as well. I reminisce in, in fun. And like, oh, remember when we did this? Remember when we did that? You know, different times, different eras. Talk about that earlier today. Just like the like the notion of going to a video store and just looking at the boxes. I used to go to the video store and not rent anything. I would just go there just to kind of just generally be there, just look around. How how pathetic is that? I could spend hours at a video store just looking at the boxes. looking at the things I could rent. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Spikes still kill me. <sighs> Is this a Nestmaker game? Here's where you can find the game. Uh, Jordan uh, Jordan can chime in. I, you know, it might be Nestmaker for the, for the base of it, but there are some other tools used as well. The fact that this game is done in a certain uh, chip kind of tells me it's a Nest Maker game. But Jordan would know more than me if he's still here. He may not be. We had to bounce. Uh, this game just launched today and it already successfully hit its goal, which is wonderful. Love to see that. Um, I am a huge hypocrite because I haven't even backed this game yet. <laughs> I need to just to have you know just to have a copy of it. It's like here you know, like support the game, buy the game. And it's like I didn't buy the game. Where am I talking? <laughs> no, I like. We all support each other. We all we all win together. All right. Farthest I've ever been. Ooh, that would have been a straight down the thing. Ooh. Yeah, there's other... They, they used other tools. Finally. All right. Furthest I've ever been. I knew that thing was going to jump at me. Stupid frog. Oh. That's a trippy, uh, trippy looking waterfall there. Like one of the tools used is tiled, and tiled is one of the tools I use for uh for choo choo mimic. Oof. Nope. Cannot swim. Dashing and daring with a sword. 
cannot swim. Be one of these stages. I'm gonna die more falling in the water than taking damage, you know. And then this. Oh, even has the dynamic. I almost did not make that. I died because a frog jumped on my head. Um, Nestmaker games are. Like UN ROM 512 K. It's a very specific, it's a map or two, but it's a specific kind of thing. And there's a way that you can change it too. Um, lame. This is a mod nest game? Well, no. It's still the game. Made from scratch. Been in development for the last at least couple years. I remember seeing it briefly at uh, Midwest Gaming Class a couple years ago. And then I saw it pretty well pro prevalent last year. See, this one has the little vertical slash there. Oh, God. That long jump and you can't turn back around. <sighs> How are we doing for time? I'll play this for a little bit longer. See if I can at least get past this level. I was already almost dead anyway. Yeah. Got that long fall, that's for sure. Some Tim Fallen style music here. Slash him right on time. Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, I'm going to die more times, more often than not, just by falling on this stage. It's like the. That is one of the things that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES did right is in the sewer stages if you fall in the water you don't die it just whisks you away and then you um try again Ooh. lame ah. yeah I'm glad i have it on easier doesn't mean i suck less but <laughs> Slash on the way down and then jump. There we go. Okay, here's this part again. Dude! Ah. What does her idle animation look like? Just breathing. Okay. That's how that works. Oop. Come on. Nope. Ah. Yeah, I was fortunate. I never had the magazine stands where they would force you to buy something or leave. I mean, 
we had a 7-Eleven in our town where the main employee, she was, I, she just worked there. Um, but she sucked. <laughs> just by nature of she sucked. Um, so maybe that location, sure. Back when 7-Eleven would actually have a magazine rack too, a small one. But yeah, um, my, my local grocery store, my Rite Aid, um, I could just go there and just thumb through the magazines and they never once did they ever say, hey, you have to leave. You have to pay for that. And then when I worked at Rite Aid, it was nice because I could go on my break or whatever. And I would literally just like go to the break room and grab a magazine off the shelf and read it during my 15 minute break. Um, and then, uh, after my break was over, I'd go back and put the magazine back on the rack. <laughs> I did that pretty regularly. Oh, forgot it. I did that. Forgot all about that. I used to do that all the time. That's a topic that a lot, a lot of people have covered. Our video game magazines and the importance. I mean, Nintendo Power, sure. But just the idea, there's so many of them. EGM, Game Pro, EGM 2 came out a while back. Uh, Game Fan. I was a big fan of Game Fan because they also covered imports. They never had the best photos. It was like somebody with like a, you know, a disposable camera. <laughs> kind of kind of blurry shots or whatever. But it's like, yeah, you know what? They're covering the things that no one else is covering. I mean, everyone was all about EGM. And EGM was probably the standard. And I loved it when disc magazines became a thing. You could like buy the PlayStation magazine and come with a demo disc, or the Dreamcast Dreamcast magazine would have a demo disc. So he's like, yeah, you're not only just checking out the games. Jeez. All right, is this the farthest I've been so far? I think it is. Okay, good. A lot of moving things on screen and no slowdown. Have you noticed that? I haven't. I haven't noticed any slowdown in this game at all. Oh, okay. I can make my way back up. I hope. I think. Okay, I'll try this again. Dude! The fact that she just kind of slide, like glides. Like, the controls aren't like Mega Man tight. Like, I, like if I'm jumping forward then pull back, I don't just turn back around, you know? So if I'm making that long jump... I have to dedicate that long jump. If I make it a long jump, it is all the way. Or not at all. So I'm going to try this guy to see if my t t jumps are tighter. Because I don't know if one of them has like better jumping than the other one. It seemed... I mean, it might be placebo, but it seemed like she could jump farther or something. I don't know. Don't attempt fate. Save the state. No, I don't have save, save states on this. Actually, I might have save states on this. I'm not sure. I'm not Mr. Probably, but no, I'm not going to use same state. If I played it on my emulator, like I played it through my computer, then sure. But then I, was, I mean, then I just go through the whole game, you know. This game already gives you infinite lives. Eventually, you will have beaten the game. Never mind if it took you 100 lives. You'll have done it yourself. Oh, hey, Justin G. Uh, one for my birthday, one for Christmas. Yeah, I had a I had a Nintendo Power subscription for a while, until until I didn't. Yeah, I mean, it was right around until shortly after the sixty four came out. Because when Nintendo sixty four came out, I liked it okay, but I was too busy playing PlayStation games, so I moved on to PlayStation mostly. Um. Yep. I was around when I got the uh, the free copy of Dragon Warrior, though. No, okay. Guy or girl, doesn't really matter. 
go back to him. I do. It's my last, my last try. I was, I, was, I, I told myself I was gonna play this game until about eight o'clock, and it's just now eight. This is an awesome game, though. Real. Lame. All right, there's where you can pre-order it. Grab it now. The game is called The Storied Sword. And I love it a lot. Um, if you're in the Milwaukee area, or um, Midwest Gaming Classic is this weekend, I'll be at Midwest Gaming Classic. Um, I'm bringing my homebrews there to sell. Uh, you can also find this game there uh, to play if you'd like. Um, I never called... You know what's funny? I, I did call Nintendo, but never for the Nintendo hint line. I called them because the hold music was Super Metroid before Super Metroid came out. So sometimes I'd call... Ah, you know what? It was never the hit line. It was just like the customer service line. And I'd ask like when certain games were going to be released. And they'd be like, oh, this game's supposed to come out this day. This game's supposed to come out this day. That's about cool. Um, but Midwest Gaming Classic is this weekend. And thank you for watching. I got more videos coming up. I got... Uh, Going through uh, the NES games through the years, um, 1991 is uh, the next video um, I'm doing probably this weekend. And there might be another video along the way, but that's that. All right. Goodbye.